Here we are, nearly one-fifth of the way through the 21st century, and many music lovers, if not most, have yet to come to terms with what happened to concert music during the 20th century, during the last century, during them good old days. Well, we are far enough past those good old days that a certain perspective has been achieved and appropriate appraisals can now be made. And thus, this series, in which the overarching goal is to give you, my listeners and viewers, a handle on the literate or concert music of the 20th century. What this course is. This course will trace the development of Western literate music, meaning art music or concert music, from the very late 19th century through the end of the 20th century. It will define, explore, and seek to historically contextualize the vast number of musical styles, of isms, that evolved during the 20th century. Mostly, this series will seek to explain why, historically, culturally, and musically, why the traditional tonal musical language, without any doubt, the greatest musical syntactical construct ever created by our species, a musical language employed quite successfully by composers ranging from Monteverdi to Mozart, Bach to Beethoven, from Haydn and Schubert and Chopin and Brahms to Tchaikovsky and all them dead Eurocats, from Israel Berlin, that would be Irving Berlin, Jacob Gershowitz, that would be George Gershwin, Robert Zimmerman, that would be Bob Dylan, to John Lennon, that would be John Lennon. Why the traditional tonal language became increasingly irrelevant to an increasingly large number of composers as the 20th century progressed. 